Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today we're going to do a couple of unboxing videos on some Mobile Fidelity UHQRs. Still sealed in the original tight cellophane shrink wrap. This came out in 1982. T for the Tillerman. Cat Stevens, T for the Tillerman. And you can see it there. This was a really limited series they did in the early 80s. It was supposed to be, uh, UHQR stood for Ultra High Quality Record. Acoustic Sounds is actually reviving this label. And uh, the, their first title is going to be uh, Jimi Hendrix. Comes out a little bit uh, later this summer. Not really quite the same, but they bought the rights to the name. So it will be titled UHQR. Now these are a little stiff because it's been sitting in here Ugh, a little while. Okay, there we go. These, I believe, were numbered to 5,000. This is a higher number, 3788. Came with the uh, certificate of authenticity, little mail-in registration, and then inside the uh, inner here is kind of the specification manual talks about the UHQR property, the UHQR uh, information as far as how they made it, kind of the benefits. And that is the uh, back side of the little, little manual. This is not one of my particular favorites of the UHQR. The, uh, current inline uh, product by Acoustic Sounds. They did this uh, quite a bit better sounding. It was actually their inaugural uh, record, first, first uh, record pressed at Acoustic Sounds. Much better sounding than this UHQR, but these are very heavily collected. They only did nine of them. They were expensive back in the day, were $50 retail in 1982, a ton of money. So they're not very common. And the people that have these hang on to them tight piece of foam stuck in another piece of foam now actually numbered here on the back and it matches uh, the certificate of authenticity gives you that nice little black and white uh, doctored up artwork there and you could tell this foam is kind of kind of feels like it's starting to disintegrate it's been in there so long so the mobile fidelity inner is kind of sandwiched in this white folder-like uh, envelope. A little bit of dust, no pressing defects. There's side one. These were 200 gram. They weren't JVC super vinyl. You know, it's not translucent like a typical mobile fidelity from this era. Here side two. But yeah, there it is. Stick this back in here. But yeah, this is how you would have got them brand new after spending 50 bones in 1982. Could have got you a stack of records for that price. Put that back the way it was. And there you go. That is the UHQR Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs T for the Tilleman. Until next time.